this is Mr. Flix and today covering up everything about Netflix The Witcher. And guess what? Netflix finally revealed the main official characters and their first updated looks for Geralt, Ciri and Yennefer and with their cover images and logos. So without further ado, let's jump into it. First up, the most awaited character, the Geralt of Rivia starring Henry Cavill and literally Geralt looks amazing. I was little scared about the looks for the Geralt after the first Netflix teaser but now I'm content. The costume, the makeup, the looks so accurate and up to the mark. The face is, the face is not clean shaven and looks more like the Witcher from the game. Notice that the hair looks real and not like a wig and I love the rugged look. Another thing you might notice that he doesn't have any scars because keep in mind that this is the beginning of story and Geralt doesn't have a lot of scars in the beginning and even most of the scars were added by CDPR to show that the character went through a lot. And now, 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 the armor. I am amazed by the looks of the armor and it just looks so real in compared to the games. Don't take the wrong idea, I love the games but the costume looked just amazing. The costume team did one hell of a job and I like the metal bits on the armor, it just makes it more pleasing. And next up is the swords. I am not really sure it's steel or silver sword. Judging from the handle, it seems silver but still not sure. But in my opinion, it's the steel sword. As in the books, he doesn't carry two swords at the same time and leaves the silver sword on the roach. People were going nuts about the single sword on Geralt's back. But fear not, because Netflix confirmed that they are going to add the second sword in the season 1. And next up is the Siri. Judging from the photo, Siri looks young and not amazing fighter that you have witnessed in the games. Still, she can fight but not as impressive as in the games because she's much younger in compared to the games. And we're probably not going to see Siri's full Elder Blood powers in the season 1 as she is the most powerful character in the lore of the Witcher, even powerful than Geralt. Freya Ellen, the cast of Siri really nailed it in her looks and completely matches the lore from her eyes and her hair to the complexion. Honestly, Siri doesn't look bad and on the official post, the Siri poster says, I am looking for Geralt of Rivia. I think first season is going to be a little hide and seek for the characters. And last but not the least, the Yennefer. And we know that this casting was the most controversial among all the characters. From my perspective, it's perfect as the description of Yennefer matches the look, raven hair and violet eyes and all that is present. From the costume and the final looks, I am not disappointed at all. I get that people are expected more of a battle ready armor costume but consider this that sorceresses usually carries dresses that make them look good. And that's the point. Also, what they designed for Yennefer is up to the point. Up next, the Witcher cover and logos. The logo for the series is actually the combination of series, Yennefer and Geralt symbols. And by this, it's confirmed that these three characters are the main one in the series. And as of the symbols they are using for the logo represents three of these main characters. And you can see the way the symbols are aligned. You have the white wolf looking out for the other two symbols, the obsidian star that Yennefer wears around her neck which looks different in the games but it is the mark of her craft and just represents her. Then the symbol of the bird that they are using to represent the Siri is actually called Zeriel which is the elderly speech for Swallow and it's also the name of her witcher sword that was given by Geralt later in the book series called Zeriel and it's a special sword like Geralt have his special witcher swords. And I don't know how the story will pick up and how these characters come together to complete their destiny but we know that the first season will going to be introductory and keep in mind that it's not gonna end on just one season, it's gonna go for a while. Also there is a quote from the cover, the worst monsters are the ones we create and it just fit right into the theme and it's definitely interesting. With that, I assume that they're gonna introduce some villains and monsters in the first season. But what about the actual trailer? 
did we gonna get one? I am certain that we gonna get the trailer really soon. Might be in the Comic Con this year along with the story reveal. But we will get one really soon. And with that said, stay tuned for the upcoming trailer and as soon as it came out, I will be breaking down every detail and sharing with you guys. Till then, subscribe to the channel and never miss an update. Peace.